Good day to you, Crowley Seventh-day Adventist Church. Welcome to you and any guests who may be joining us online. I am so glad that you're here. Your pastoral team is excited to launch into a month-long daily devotional project. Each day of October, we will have a brief video devotional just for you. This is meant to encourage you to go deeper with the Lord on a daily basis. Each day, we'll be reflecting on the biblical passage found in the devotional book of Ellen White, Maranatha. You can simply add this to your devotional plan if you already have one. However, maybe for some of you watching, you don't have a plan yet, and I would encourage you to use these videos as a launching pad to get into God's Word. I truly believe that everyone would be happier and live a more satisfied life if they started each day with a few moments with their Heavenly Father. So let's do that right now. Let's start today. Our daily devotion for today comes from the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 7. This is what God's Word says. Behold, He is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see Him, even they who pierced Him, and all the tribes of the earth will mourn because of Him. Even so, amen. This verse paints a vivid picture of the day when Jesus will return. His return is not hidden, it's not unknown, it's not secret, but rather it's visible to all. The Bible says every eye will see him. Other places in scripture, it tells us who those eyes are. It's those who are alive when he comes. It's those who have died believing in him and are resurrected. And it's even those who mocked him will witness this extraordinary moment of his second coming. We're told in this verse that those who ridiculed his suffering on the cross will be raised from the dead to see him come, not as a prisoner, not someone who died on a cross, but as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. They are raised to see Christ, the Son of God, Jesus, come back to this earth in all of his glory. These are the people that, who during his trial mocked him and scorned him and beat him. Nearly 2,000 years ago, Jesus stood on trial before Caiaphas. Caiaphas was the high priest. Jesus' face was bruised, his body was broken. Yet in that moment, Caiaphas looked at him, demanding to know the truth. He said, I adjure thee by the living God, he said, tell us whether thou be the Christ, the Son of God. In Matthew chapter 26 is where it records this event, that during his trial, Caiaphas is staring at him, demanding, are you the Son of God? Jesus pauses and answers, it is as you said. He continues and says, Nevertheless, I say to you, hereafter you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Jesus assures Caiaphas that he will see that day, and this is what we are talking about. The leaders of the Jewish people who had awaited for their Messiah for centuries missed the fact that the Messiah was standing right before them. Right in their midst, they reject the Savior of the world, the Messiah. Their decision to reject the Savior is recorded in the books of heaven. John, the author of Revelation, says in the hand of him that sits on the throne, the book that is there, the names of Caiaphas and other Jewish leaders' names are recorded as they reject Christ. Christ Object Lessons tells us, in all its vindictiveness, this decision will appear before them in the day of this book is unsealed by the Lion of the tribe of Judah. This will be the moment of undeniable truth. Revelation promises us that every eye will see him. No one will be left in doubt who the Lord is. Those who have loved and follow him will rejoice, but those who have rejected him will wail. The Savior, once despised, returns to claim his people to start his everlasting kingdom. The second coming of Christ is a promise, and we want you to be ready. But readiness isn't about fearing which group you'll be a part of. Rather, it's about a relationship with Jesus. And relationship grows as we spend time in his word every single day. Revelation 1-7 points to us the reality of Christ's return, but it also invites us to live in preparation for that moment. Every time we open scripture, we choose to spend time with the one who will one day come back in the clouds of glory. So how do we prepare for his return? It starts right here in his word. When we open the Bible daily, we learn about who Jesus is, we connect with his heart, and we are reminded of his promises. So here's today's challenge. Open your Bible. 
Whether it's just for five minutes or for 30 minutes, dig into God's Word. Read Revelation 1-7. Be reminded that Christ is coming again soon, but then continue reading. I ask you the question, are you ready to meet him when he comes in the clouds one day soon? I pray that you are. I pray that you will not be like this group who is mourning his second coming, who is not ready for his second coming, but rather you are the group who rejoices and says, this is my savior for whom I have waited. This is why we want every day to get into God's word and spend a few moments with him. We don't want to be guilty of rejecting our Savior. We don't want to be guilty of ignoring our Savior. Rather, what we want to do is dive deep into relationship with Jesus, the one who paid it all for you and for me. Let us pray as we end our devotional time today. Father God, Lord, I pray for everyone watching this video. I pray that as they spend time in the word, you will speak to their hearts and to their minds. I pray that you will open their understanding to the things that they are looking at. And Lord, this special resurrection that we just looked about in Revelation chapter 1 verse 7 is a hard truth to understand. Why do these things happen? But we see, Lord, that there was a group who rejected your son. Lord, may no one who is watching this reject Jesus. May no one who is watching this turn away from him so that everyone is excited when he comes in the clouds of glory. We say, even so, come, Lord Jesus. We look forward to that day. Amen. Bless you, church family. Have a great day.